Sashika. Sashika. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. And I'm Jake. And today is Krishna's birthday. Yay! Woo! Lord Krishna's birthday today. And it's called, give me a minute because I have to read it. Jam Mashtami. So we're so excited. You guys sent us some links. So we're really excited because this is, um, I'm going to take Anjali's spot. The story of Krishna Jamashtami. So it looks like a little cartoon, and I'm hoping it's going to tell us a little bit about the festival and um, a little bit about the history. So we did Sadhguru's uh, Lord Krishna talk, and we've done Lord Shiva's, and we've done temples. So we, we have a little bit of knowledge, but this is the first time I've heard of this festival, and um, and so this will be fun to learn a little bit more, right? Yeah. And um, I do have, hold on, a little background information before we watch it. Krishna Jamashtami is also known as Jamashtami. is the annual Hindu festival that celebrates the birth of Krishna, the eighth avatar of Vishnu. It's observing according to Hindu lunar solar calendar on the eighth day of Krishna Akasha, um, it's usually in August or September, so the end of September, mm -hmm. the end of August, beginning of September, so, and it's today, happy birthday, Lord Krishna, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and today was actually Anjali and Jaden's first day of school, too, so it was a double celebration, right? Did you guys have a good day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. All right, let's, let's learn a little bit more, right? Ready? Yeah. Let's start it up. Story of Janmashtami. A long time ago in Mathura, there was a king named Kans who was infamous for his greed and unfair rule. Mm, he's not nice. <laughs> After the marriage of his sister, Devki to Vasudev, a prophetic voice from above announced, Kunt, your tyranny is going to come to an end. The eighth son born to Devki and Vasudev will kill you. That's what happens when you're not nice, right? Mm -hmm. This enraged Kunt and he imprisoned the newly vets. Aww. That's sad. Well, they said he wasn't very nice, right? Guns went to the baby. Theory wouldn't come true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When she gave birth to her eighth child, the prophetic voice returned and said. Take the child across the river Yamuna to Gokul and exchange him with your friend Nand and Yashoda's newly born daughter. Vasudev looked down to realize his hands had been unchained. He quickly picked up his child and put him in a box. Arriving at the gate to find them open on their own and the guards asleep. The river. The basket upon his head. The water never rose above his shoulders. When he struggled, a ten headed snake appeared to protect the child from the pouring rain. Vasudev by wow. now had realized oh, that his nice child snake, was a right? divine being. He's a divine, that's for sure. Hmm. 
Vasati switched the children and returned to the prison. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Sam Wink. He's back. When Kant arrived and tried to harm the child, it took the form of Goddess Durga and said, The eighth child who is going to end your reign of terror has been born and will fulfill his prophecy. Daddy said he, he tried that once. Mm -hmm. The tower. To get the pot at Maya Pie. There's money in yeah. it, I think. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, that was a really cute story, right? Yeah. Krishna's birthday. Told us a little bit more about. I think I feel like we knew part of that story. Maybe not the whole thing. Yeah. Like I didn't know he had to go so far and, and trade the babies. But I feel like yeah. I knew about the bad guy. Maybe in one of our other videos. Well, we, we did a thing where when Krishna was grown up, he had to kill the bad guy because oh. he was trying to like kill the child oh, of yeah. something. Yeah. But I don't know if that's the same story. That's not the same story. Oh, okay. Maybe that's where I'm getting confused. Huh? Yeah. That's what was your favorite part about Krishna's birthday? Well, my favorite part is when the sea snake came and pretended to be funny with that. Yeah, he was like entertaining mm -hmm. the baby. Yeah. But it, it was meant to like cover the baby so the baby didn't get wet while he was going through the water. And I thought it was interesting they said the water never rose above his shoulder. So he was able yeah. to walk across that big river that looks like uh, it's probably deeper than that so yeah. godly things were happening mm -hmm. for krishna's birthday right what was your favorite part anji i just like like one of my um favorite parts or what i thought was interesting is that they held the like bucket over their head while the rain and like lightning was pouring like down and mm -hmm. i was wondering why that why they put it like over their head and not like cover them the baby he yeah was holding the baby the whole time yeah, I don't know. I I don't know if that was the easier way to carry the baby or if that was just the way that the story was told. Yeah. Um, but it's a really cute uh, story. So we were really excited to learn a little bit more about Lord Krishna mm -hmm. yes. and his birthday. And I hope you guys had fun at the festivals today. Yeah. Um, we're going to do some more videos and songs and uh, ones that you suggested. So we're really excited, right? Mm -hmm. I hope you like this. And if you like this video, you're about to Hit like button down below because the more you like, the more YouTube shares our videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Right. And join our wonderful family. And we'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.